Hey folks, it's Mad Rabbit, and you're in uh, starting a new Let's Play series today uh, with uh, Medieval 2 Total War. And as I had mentioned in a channel update video, yes, I do intend on playing a Let's Play of this. It's going to be um, a short campaign, as you can see here. Um, I have started playing, I am new to this game, so let's just say this up front. I am new to the game, I am not an expert, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I learned a little bit. I started playing through uh, Spain's um, campaign, I guess you would call it. Um, got a little ways into it. And then I thought, oh, alright, I got the basics down, so what I'm going to do is start one right now. Start a new one for the uh, for the channel. Um, so here I am doing the Holy Roman Empire. I had started one before with them. And um, I decided, well, I don't like them uh, for a beginner. I think I'd rather try a different different faction and I went back and did Spain um, so yeah so I have a little bit of experience with Spain that's about it really um, so a short campaign you get to hold 20 regions eliminate Milan and Denmark uh, I guess that's the victory conditions um, I'm going medium I am not an expert like I said I'm not some I know some people will go oh, go go hard right off the bat well good for you go play by yourself then I'm not gonna be doing that <laughs> I actually want to win, so and I don't give a crap about challenges. Uh, to be honest with you, and since I'm learning the game, learning the game is a challenge enough for me. Um, so, no further ado. I don't quite know how long these this series will go, um, how long the episodes will be. I don't really know if um, you know if they'll be 20 minutes long, 30 minutes long, an hour long. I don't know how go how much uh, per week I'll do it, but. Um, I guess uh, we'll see here. Um, just, just to try it out. I know some people had mentioned mods, and I had also looked into some mods before I even bought this game. Uh, I actually downloaded the Lord of the Rings mod, which is called the Third Age. Would not work on my computer. I don't know why. Um, the over, the actually the overhead map, like the map, it would work. But then when I go in and try and do a battle, it would crash a desktop or do some weird crap. So I basically gave up on that, and uh, the other one I wanted to try was called Call of Warhammer, which basically based on the Warhammer fantasy stuff, and um, it looked really awesome from one guy's Let's Play, and I'd wanted to do that. In fact, I'd almost wanted to do that instead of doing, you know, the base game, but um, trying to download that without getting a virus was quite the challenge, because uh, the, the, the couple places I've seen it uh, basically was... Uh, you know, not very secure. I didn't feel very secure trying to download them. And basically they tell you, oh, download our program to download this. Yeah, why do I need a download program to download this when I'm able to download all this stuff with no problem anyway? That's a bunch of bull crap. It's just basically a means to uh, get a get a virus, which I actually did get when I did attempt to, do, to get Call of Warhammer. So I won't be doing any mods, folks. I, um, I'd rather not pay... 80 to 100 dollars and my computer re revitalized since I'm unemployed I really can't afford that right now so <laughs> so sorry oh so yeah um <laughs> I guess I'll be doing uh let's come on hurry up here come on come on come on Get into the game all right um interesting thing looks like we got five uh territories right off the bat here six Quite different than Spain. Hmm. Okay. So, what are, do we have any current missions? No current missions. What do we got as far as troops go? Yeah. So, bear with me, folks, as I try and learn this. Spare militia. No agents here. Okay. What is this? A cardinal. I think the first mission when I did start this before was go after Prague. So I'll send this guy over here anyway. Imperial Princess. I guess you just send them off someplace to get married. Yeah, alright. Wooden Castle over here. Large town here. No other agents, huh? I guess no other agents. 
Nope, no other mages. Okay, I was just wondering. Um, yeah, so at any rate, uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Who's this guy? Imperial Spy. Oh, we got a spy right off the bat. No, that's kind of neat. Uh, what do we got here in Prague? Uh, Slavic levies, uh, armored sergeants. All right, so that's probably going to be the first priority going after some of these surrounding rebel camps. I also got Florence down here, which would be nice to grab up too. Um, I'm sure Venice does not like us either. Let's see, Venetian diplomat, Milanese merchant. All right. Um, all right, we'll just go in town to town here. Somewhat limited in funds, huh? Um, I guess the first order of business would be probably getting money. Three turns for this thing. Two turns for this, but cheaper cost. Or mines for two turns, but a lot of cost. So these three things would be probably my first choices, so... And what's the other one I wanted to do? Land clearance, which I might put land clearance first here. And we'll leave it uh, to a militia. What we got here for militia of peasants, two archer squads, and some spear militia. A merchant and a diplomat would be nice to have right off the bat, so I might actually just um, get them. I know the Prentice will kind of act as a diplomat, but... Um, won't be able to rely on her too long. Why do I have a... Oh. I got an army sitting out here? What's in here? Four, uh, four things. I got an army sitting out here for some reason. They start you off with an army just sort of hanging out. Maybe they want me to go to Hamburg first. Hamburger. Okay, I guess I'll go. Yes, I will do that. What the heck. Um... And, uh, let's see, what kind of defenses they got. I guess it'll last eight turns. I'm going to maintain siege and try and wear them down a little bit. And maybe try and get uh, something up there to help them out. Let's actually send one squad up there just to help them out. Okay, we did this. Let's try Durenberg. Uh, probably want I probably shouldn't be spending too much money right off the bat, so I'm gonna do just a little bit of uh, it's these two, I guess. No more recruitment for now. One castle here. Let's see what we got here. Again, just basic stuff, just to get some some money flowing. Towns aren't growing though. You're at normal. This one will grow. Let's take the check the tax rate on these, okay. So this one's ain't gonna grow too much. Uh, normal tax rate, large town, okay. Do the same thing here. Mines, I'm gonna wait on the mines. I My florins are kinda low. Yeah. Okay. Just do... It's a couple basics again, and down here, the baloney. <laughs> All right, baloney. Ooh, that would be nice too. Grain exchange. Actually, put that second behind that. All right. Any other troops here? That I have not moved. Obviously, there's troops. There's more I could move, but I think we'll just end the first turn. Um, yeah. All right. Okay, who's this guy from Venice? Trade rights and no, oh, good. That's cool, man. That's cool. I'll take that. I don't think I want to start a fight with them right now. Uh, they're related, in fact. Very good. One thing I did not like about this game is I started to notice when I did, even though I only played it for a short time, I felt it was a little bit unrealistic. Um, as I was playing Spain, Portugal declares war on me. France declares war on me. The Moors are sitting right there, which don't declare war on me and still never did. I, mean, I still got the save game. I could probably go back and play it. But 
So I eventually pretty much destroy all Portugal except for one town. The French declare war, and they stop, and then they start again, and, and all this. Um, so I was like, all right, fine. But then England declares war on me for no reason at all. I see like a bunch of ships and huge armies landing off my coast. I'm like, no, well, why on earth? I'm not even a threat to them. I'm not. I don't have any naval. Just so there's some aspects of this game that I'm already noticing that are not um, very realistic. I, I mean, I suppose you might consider it a kind of a challenge to uh, deal with that. Magdeburg, where is that? Hit that. That's right up here. It's not even... Okay, so apparently I'm not going after Prague. I will have uh, Magdeburg. Just a small castle. Okay. And that's probably why they had that, that fort that force up there right away. They probably wanted you to use that. You're probably supposed to be using that for that. Yeah, well... So sorry. I'm doing it all wrong. <laughs> Alright, what did we get here? We got lots of roads. Alright. Oh yeah, we looked at these already. Q stall, because they got no money. And I am, for some reason, the largest faction, because I do have quite a few, quite a few pieces of territory here to start off with. All right, princess will go to. Actually, let's let's try and be nice to the Venetians here. Now, maybe I can marry her into there. Uh, Venetian diplomat. I guess that is really. Oh, it here. I'm gonna maintain the siege with this guy. I don't have any kind of a commander squad here, though. I wonder if I should send this commander up just to give him a little experience in battle. It probably would be a good idea. Of course, uh, this might anger the Danish because they're like right there, and they have an army going in already. Pretty large size too, not huge, but yeah, the fact that I'm sieging it might anger them. But um, uh, too bad, too bad. So unless I'm gonna buy stuff in these places or raise my tax rates or alter my tax rates, not much to do this round. The rest of this round, I'm gonna let it go. Let's see what happens here. All right, great. Is anyone they can go quicker? Oh, yes, press the button. All right. Yes, please hurry. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Milan and what was the other one? Denmark. I have to be careful of or be ready for. Yeah, so that's. So they might end up being uh, more aggressive, those two, so I have to keep an eye on them right away. And then the problem with this is, see how this guy's going down down here towards the one I'm supposed to be going after? <laughs> so I'm kind of messing up here. I'm probably uh, not supposed to be doing this in this order. I suppose I could probably really try and send a, a force over there and siege it before they get there, but I think they're going to get there first anyway. Hungary, hmm. Priorities, trade. Next, pathetic, we're poor. Very well. I will accept it. I know I could probably extort people, but I'm not going to bother right now. I'll be a nice guy. Who's this now? A papal states. They want trade rights. Why, shortly. So I have nothing but um, disdain for the papal states. I will probably make a demand on this. You will make a, tra a, tra a single payment of a thousand, which they probably can't afford, so I'll go back down. They're bankrupt, in fact. Oh, they're going to reject it anyway. Forget it, forget it, forget it. Yeah, 
Make our trade rights. Let's just let's do map information. Yeah, fine. Whatever. We have reached an agreement. Oh, I should actually raise the volume up so you guys can hear a little bit of residual, residual talking. Yes, I am very reasonable. I'm so reasonable. Okay, construction complete, land clearance, uh, queue stall, nothing, we're not growing anywhere. Not running anything. Alright. Imperial General. There we go, that's a sizable enough force to be able to probably take it, I would think. Now, Nuremberg. Imperial Cardinal. Send him up there, maybe to be outside, reach outside the city. Oh, didn't I have? Oh, yes, now I do have agents. Merchant. All right, let's see what kind of resources we got around here. Coal. All yeah, right, good. Grab the coal. Yes. Diplomat. Actually, try and be nice and be nice with these guys. The Danes. Okay. Might have to raise taxes. Don't really want to do that right away. We'll go very high in the capital. Go a little high here. I'm not gonna go too crazy with that. I'm gonna probably lower that down here real quickly. I don't like uh, I preferred leaving things at normal. Right, what do I have here now? I forgot I had something here tonight. All right, where's that princess? Yeah, I was going to do the Venetians, so I'll have her go down to the Venetians and see if I can, uh... Alright. The good news is, though, even though I'm pretty much stalled, <laughs> my economy is already stalled right off the bat, I will probably get, um... some nice economic stuff going once all these economic buildings are built. See what our family tree is like. Um, Emperor Heinrich the Chivalrous. Prince Harry. He's already married in Leopold. Okay. Not sure no one's at war yet, of course. The Pope. Uh, where are we at here? Holy Roman Empire. Not doing too good. But um, I have nothing but disdain for them anyway. Yeah. Okay. No growth. Okay. Agents. All right. All right. That's good enough. Um. See John going. Imperial diplomat. It cannot go any further. A spy. Yeah, on my way. So we'll go up here. I think everyone else moved, right? Yes. All right, end turn. Let's go. Hurry, people, move it. Yeah, I got a feeling they're going to go for that town. Suppose I'm the one supposed to be going for that one. But okay, that's fine. That's fine. 
I'm obviously not very familiar with these things. Are things growing yet? Uh, I think it finished. Yes, some stuff getting finished. Cues are still stalled. Ah, profits will be good next turn. Yes, awesome. I could probably attack at any point. Ooh, they do have a pretty large army there. So I guess if they do siege this uh, castle, I uh, they'll probably win it. Most likely. Which is fine, because maybe I'll just swing over here and grab this place. German rebels. That might be in the in the future here. Okay, so diplomat. Who's this? Princess. Let's we'll talk. How about we just do like uh, trade rights? Simple as that. Hmm? Yes, make offer. Does that mean they accepted it? Barely accepted. Oh wow. Well, we accepted it anyway. It's all that matters. Yes. Well. Too bad. Too bad you accepted it. Okay, the priest is going that way. And I have her talk to uh, the Venetians. No one married generals. I probably should have looked at that before I went all the way down here. They're all married. I suppose I could go down here. Hit some of the other places. I don't worry about it too much. Uh, yeah, I really don't want to make too much more stuff until I actually get uh, the queue stalled thing gone. So. Yeah, most likely I'll just wait a bit. I'm going to be tapping here, just trying to try get these guys going quicker. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Talking to me? Who's this guy? You talking to me? You talking to me, Sicily? Really? That's a generous offer. Because I love Sicily so much, since I'm Sicilian myself, I will give you money for no reason at all. Because I'm a nice guy and I'm Sicilian, and I feel the plight of the Sicilian people. And I only have 300 bucks. Here you go. Have every last penny of my money, because that's the kind of guy I am. There you go. I see no true problem here. Yeah, you, you should see a problem here, because I gave you everything I got. You know what I'm saying? There you go. Sicily, my homies. You get it all, homies. Yeah, so I'm going. To, I'm going to sort of like role play this a little bit to my own thing here, <laughs> as you can tell, as I'm already going on here. Sunable Prince. Uh, well, he's loyal. He's got piety. Crappy in command. Uh, chivalry. Um. Well, chivalry things generally loyal. Smart. You know what? What the heck? Let's let's get him. Let's take him. He married somebody. Another thing complete. Still stalled. Yeah, so tax deal didn't help out a whole lot. And they apparently they're not the Danes are not sieging this thing. That's cool. Um let's send a diplomat this way, hit Poland maybe. Some of the Scandinavian countries, if there's any. I don't know if there are countries, they're all rebel territories up here. I don't know if you can really. Uh, well, unless that's the map just ends there, maybe. Yeah, well, at any rate, I guess I'll just keep sending them east. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna continually siege this baby. I do have some money now, though. I don't know where that came from. A rebel army. Uh, what's... Um, six, and I got seven here. What do I do? 
They may attempt to attack. Oh, uh, town militia sucks, but uh, yeah, not a lot I can do. I'm gonna actually just build one in case they are coming to this place. Where my princess go here? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? I don't even see her. Thought she was down here. Unless that was the one that got married just now. I think that one might have been the one that just got married then. Let me double check that family tree again. Oh, she didn't. She married some guy. I don't know. Yeah, I guess that's what happened. She's 23, he's 49. It's quite an age difference there. Heck, he's older than the damn emperor. Okay, well, that's fine. I guess we move everything we're going to move. The siege continues. And I'm going to end it after this, uh, this, this little thing here, because I think we've gone a little long. I don't want to go too long with each episode. Yeah, okay, get going here. Go, 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 go. I probably shouldn't even have put that in there, but... Denmark. Betrothal. Yes, a young woman. A fitting breeding and station. This has those childbearing hips, I guess. Uh, <laughs> would like to be metal and blah, 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 blah. Okay. And what the hell? What do I care? Yay! Some guy got married. My guy. Yeah, one whole unit. A couple more things getting completed. Construction is stalled, but we got we're getting stuff done. We are the strongest faction because we're awesome. The siege continues. I know I could attack. I'm wondering if I should, but uh, I don't know. I'm thinking I'll hold off till uh, next round uh, here. Actually, next episode, because I'm going to end this one. All right, I am going to see you guys next time. Adios.